Community service in the heart of the South Bronx, where residents are heeding Mr. Clinton's call. They're giving back to the children of their neighborhood. They've been doing it for years and urge others to follow their lead. This is something for them to do rather than just hang out on corners or whatever they do outside. This is another world to them. I mean, these are like the prime candidates for, for like gang recruitment at, when they get older. And what I'm trying to do is uh, I'm trying to uh, divert their attention from the negative to the positive. Both these teachers volunteer at The Point, a community center in the Hunts Point area of the Bronx. They provide these kids with positive after-school activities. In the old terms, it's break dancing, but in the new terms that our dance teacher uses is b-boying. I like b-boying because it's fun. It helps a lot keep us out on the street. And keep us out of trouble. Our behaviors get better. I got flexible. In order for them to be able to come to the class, uh, they have to show me their report cards every marking period. And I also like to try to speak to their parents uh, whenever I get the opportunity or speak to their teachers. I like drumming because um, I get to learn about um, another heritage, about drumming. I set up a Latin jazz series here with the help of the point. I get a lot of satisfaction in doing what I'm doing because I grew up in this neighborhood. Uh, I went to school in this neighborhood and I, I just came back to give something back. I believe in what I'm doing. It helps to teach young people respect, respect for themselves and respect for others. It teaches a discipline through the art that I teach, jiu-jitsu. I meet new friends and I meet people that they respect me and they don't do anything bad to me. I'm going to know how to protect myself when someone tries to do something bad to me. And also now, like if someone else wants to learn how to do th these kind of things, I can teach them. Wow, at such a young age. Well, Stephen Sapp joins us this morning. Stephen is one of the founders of The Point, located in the Hunts Point section of the Bronx. Thanks for being here. Thank you. What brought this all about? Wow. Um, the four founders, there's four of us, uh, Maria Torres, Mildred Ruiz, and Paul Lipson. Um, we worked at another nonprofit, and we wanted to do something else. We wanted to sort of expand what we already did, which was social service. And so we thought, well, what would be the best sort of uh, situation when we uh, if we could have our own nonprofit, what would it be? And this was the idea. It was the point. So, which is a live theater. Uh, we have poetry readings and plays and Latin jazz, and we have we have businesses, a restaurant, a barbershop, mm -hmm. a dance studio, record store, and then we have programs. We have martial arts. We have Latin jazz. Um, we have Crazy Legs teaching uh, b-boying. We have the task group graffiti. So it's one big sort of family in the building. How many children are involved in these? Wow, um, about 100, you can say about 100, 150, rotate through the building during the course of a week. Um, now that it's the summer, you have summer youth coming in, um, depending on what shows go on. If we have a hip-hop show, you have more kids coming in the building for that. So it kind of rotates like that. Okay, so the four of you got together and decided this is what you wanted to do. You wanted to yeah. give something back. To yeah. You came out of the neighborhood. Yes. And yes. you wanted to give something back yeah. to the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. But if you've got 100 kids coming through, that means you've got to have more volunteers. Yeah, um, we actually the, the community really helped build the space and make the, the organization what it is today. Um, between Crazy Lakes coming and teaching, um, Andre teaching, um, people on the block supporting, coming in to build walls, um, pressure wash the brick. Um, they really were there every day with us step by step. I mean, one woman used to bring us food every day when, mm -hmm. when we were building the building. So it was really sort of like a family, community type thing. And we're there let's say from 9, 10 o'clock to 11, 12 o'clock at night, we work straight, and the people come through and rotate. There's, there's always been the debate about role models and yeah. who should be a role model and what is a role model, mm -hmm. but obviously you have taken that upon yourself. Well, you try, to, you try to conduct yourself in a respectful manner and because the kids watch you and they pick things up really quickly. So we try to conduct ourselves um, in a business-like fashion, but also be sort of big brothers, big sisters to them. They come to you for a variety of different reasons. So you just be there for that and try to, to mystify what it is to have your own and start your own. Mm -hmm. And that's what we really try to do. Okay, let me take you back now to when you were a kid. Does this volunteering come out of the fact that there were people there helping you? Yeah, I mean, besides mother having a, a, a good 
you know, family, mother and father there, but also going to community centers and things like that and summer programs um, that were always around and people doing stuff for you. Mm -hmm. It instills in you. So I wanna, when I went away to college and came back, that was the first thing I felt I needed to do. Was to give, give back. something back to the community. Yes. Do you need volunteers? We always need volunteers. I mean, the point sort of rotates. If you bring something and you want to set up shop, we allow you to do that. Mm -hmm. And we just run from there. It okay. Helps. We want to thank you very much for joining us thank this morning. Me. Stephen Sapp, one of the founders of The Point. And there is a phone number if you would like to volunteer. It is 718-542-4139. It is on the screen. Once again, 718 542 Four one three nine, and if you can't get through uh, to the point, or you can't make it to the point, you can also call the Volunteers of America, and that's two one two eight seven three two six zero zero. Stephen, once again, thanks. Thank you. Let me shake your hand. All right. All right. <laughs>